Hello everyone, this is VJZ32 and I know what you want. And I got what you want. Review on the gold smoking mirrors. And it's coming on Sunday on my channel. Not today. Right now it's time for the daily deck and that's not the one. So let's have a look at what's going on in the world of cards that I know. Theory 11 finally released a so-called mystery box. It comes wrapped up in a paper that has a big question mark on it and it's kind of like, Ooh, do you open it, do you not open it? What it is, is a new deck from J.J. Abrams, which is a uh, robot box deck. Looks kind of interesting. I don't think they released any pictures of back design or anything like that. They just had pictures of uh, part of the front of the box and the Ace of Spades and that's it. But you can get that right now on 311.com. It's not limited. Or not extremely limited anyway, it's probably going to be around for a while, in my opinion. Uh, Dan and Dave will have a new Magicon deck coming up in April. Uh, to coincide with their Magicon convention. Club 808 is doing a vote right now for members. If you're a member, go vote. There's free back designs that they are putting up to vote for a reprint for Club 808 members. One of them is a, a one-way back design that looks like a safety back or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I've seen it in a, one of the vintage design decks. And I think it was in the Heritage Series deck as well. The other ones look much better. I have a vote for them. And... I'm just hopping around here checking different stuff, I apologize. But I have no idea what that magic contact looks like. Now about that one. We know it, we know it, we know it. I'm guessing all the variety boxes that Conjuring Arts have sold out, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if there's any updates on that. Let me just have a look on Kickstarter. I think there's at least one new deck on Kickstarter. Actually, I think it's coming tonight at midnight. Is the bicycle wiretap playing cards? I was going to mention it yesterday, but I didn't do a video yesterday because there wasn't really much to say. <laughs> uh, anyways, the bicycle wiretap is from I think it's Deco Card Company, which is the same company that did the Sultana decks previously, and. Obviously, bicycle USB-C deck. It has a wiretap spy theme. I said it's going to be ever so popular. It looks interesting. I believe it launches at midnight tonight. On top of that, the Type 52 playing cards have 50 hours to go. They still need about 2,000 bucks. I don't know if it's going to happen. The Inspire playing cards have inspired $1,200 in pledges, which is not anywhere near enough, and 46 hours left. The Ebru playing cards has funded and has 20 hours to go. Edinburgh playing cards, 10 hours to go, and that one is funded. The Bicycle Old Masters has three days left, and it is funded, but they're not going to get any of those big stretch goals for another three or four tuck boxes, which is ridiculous. And the triplicates have funded, but there's still lots of time to get them. And I don't see that wiretap yet. The wine deck from Alien Slink 
six days left it is funded morons <laughs> and that is that there's one more I could mention uh, I can find you and it is this one it is from Jennifer cast who did this caravan of Sears decks that I just got today and it is the Linerman. And it's basically a fortune telling deck. As you can see, it's got a little card on it, but it's mostly art. You may or may not be into that, but that's what it is. It is on Kickstarter right now. Um, I think it's doing okay. I don't recall. I saw it somewhere. And it's not doing too good. Nine days left, and it needs about 6,000 bucks more. It's probably not going to make it. But anyways, you can go check it out. If you're into that sort of stuff, that is what I got. Sorry if it's a little bit of a long video and a little bit too much silence, but that's what I got for today. I'll let you know tomorrow if there's anything else new that pops up. I will see you next time.